Hi, hello, I am Nasai Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. Today we have another exciting video. I am going to highlight four makers of accessories for your CNC that I find useful and I hope you will find useful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the computer. I am going to show you their Etsy shops. I am going to highlight the products that I like the most. There's plenty of products out there. You don't have to exclusively use the ones that I'm highlighting. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the CNC, show you some of the products that I actually own and I use or I've recently received and I have yet to install, and then some upgrades that I wanna make in the future. So let's go ahead, let's cut over to the computer and let's get on with highlighting the various makers. Here we are over at the computer and the first maker that I would like to highlight is Greg at Route One Wood Design. Now Greg was an earlier adopter of Onefinity CNC machine. He's got a variety of different things on his Etsy site. And so some of the things that I'd like to point out and the one that I am most envious of that I haven't yet installed is the drag chain. So Greg makes this lovely drag chain kit for the Onefinity and if you own one you know that it doesn't come with a drag chain now this is something that I had on my X carve and something that I really do miss it just keeps all the wires organized it keeps everything in the right place and it reduces the possibility of some of the connections coming loose or potentially for your wires to break while they're moving back and forth too much he's got other things on his website he's got a really lovely uh, hose sort of clip system that he has going on you can see my hose there is just draped right there his uh, clip you can attach to just about anything and it allows you to route your hose in an interesting and more uh, productive manner maybe than I have done. He's also got some clips for your power cord that attach to your vacuum hose. He's got various sizes here so that's something that I'm looking in investigating as well. Now his uh, he does offer digital files so you can print them yourself if you have that capability and some of the things he does offer uh, pre-printed or manufactured so you can just order the physical product as well. So that's really useful. The next maker I would like to highlight is Peter at Rowdy Roman. So once again, Peter it was one of those early adopters. He got in super early for the Onefinity, started making uh, products for it, accessories, really a maker helping out the rest of the maker community. And so what Peter has is a number of different things. He's got uh, also a hose guide like Greg has for the Onefinity, but he's got a hose boom that goes along with it. And so the hose boom is really interesting it really does help keep the hose out of the way and it's got the clips that help route your uh, hose out of the way. Now the, the one thing that I like the best is the light ring for your router. Now, anyone who's used in CNC knows that you're always standing over it, you're watching the bit. It's really fascinating to me anyway to watch as it cuts, it's really mesmerizing. But this light ring has really revolutionized my watching experience, which seems kind of silly, but it throws the light down onto your workpiece and it just really lights up that area really well. In the past, you know, I would have lights off to the side or I would try to use my cell phone to light it up and follow the cell phone around the machine. So having this light ring on there is super duper nice. It is really it is really an enhancement that I didn't know I needed until I needed it, right? Um, and now that I have it, it's something that I really, really like. I can't say that I can live without it, but it really is an awesome upgrade. So if you get the opportunity, check out Rowdy Roman. The next maker that I would like to highlight is Ryan at Red Dog Woodcraft. Now, Ryan has been in the Etsy business supporting hobbyist CNCs for quite a while now. And when the Onefinity came out, he tailored his wasteboard system to the Onefinity. Now, I really, really like Ryan's design here. It is a combination of quarter 20 holes and dog holes. He's also got some corner brackets to help you align things like this. And so I've actually taken in his design I've twisted a little bit I've tweaked it to my desires and so the really nice thing about this is it is a digital file you can do whatever you want to it so he does not sell the physical wasteboard system it would be very costly and uh, probably very labor-intensive my in my mind uh, to sell the actual pre-configured wasteboard systems but he's also got a variety of other things out on his website uh, designs for a variety of things as well as some zero clearance inserts for table saws if you're interested in that uh, but I really do like Ryan 
Ryan's uh, design for the wasteboard system here. And I have implemented part of it for my machine. I haven't quite finished it yet. I do need to do the quarter 20 inserts and the dog holes. It's something I just haven't gotten around to. So uh, kudos to Ryan for really great design and I encourage you to check him out. The next maker that I'm gonna highlight is Jan Carlos. And so Jan Carlos here has created some uh, wipers that protect your machine from debris if you have a Onefinity. And so anyone who has a Onefinity knows it has the ball screw system uh, with the uh, direct drive. And so what happens is debris can end up on that direct drive system. That debris can get sucked into essentially the ball screw mechanism. And if you get enough debris in there, it could actually jam your machine up. So what these ball screw wipers do is they literally just attach uh, to where the uh, ball screw and the lead screw goes in uh, and it just clears the material out of the lead screw. And so it's amazingly simple. It is easy to install and it is just uh, something that I think anyone who has one Finity machine really needs. It really protects your machine and kind of, um, you know, make sure that you, uh, if you're not doing maintenance on a regular basis, it really it really allows you to extend that time in between you when you do do maintenance. So uh, he's got a couple of uh, other products out there on his Etsy site as well. So I do encourage you to go out, check out uh, Jan Carlos here uh, and pick yourself up some of the ball screw wipers. The next two makers that I'm gonna highlight here are uh, bonus makers, I'm gonna say, because I've already talked about them on this channel before. So if you haven't checked out those videos, I will link them above. But the first one is John at Huntington Builds. John makes a ton of different products. I have uh, interviewed him personally on my website as well on this channel and talked about some of the products that he's made. And I just rave about the magnetic quick swap plates. I cannot say enough about them. He's also got some uh, dust shoe holders, which are amazing. They, uh, you can see mine there, I think in the background, it just keeps the dust shoe out of the way. He has recently come up with a couple of other additional products as well. He's got some clamp systems to hold a track saw against a garage door or a wall or something like that. I could definitely see that being in my future. So John does offer the, offer the physical products as well as some of the digital files. So if you have the ability to print it yourself, um, then you can go ahead and do that. That's something nice to do if you wanna print in some different colors, for example. Go ahead, definitely recommend checking out John at Huntington Builds. So the final maker that I am going to highlight is Kyle at Canova Woodshop. Now, for all of you who have been on this channel for a while and following the channel, you know that I interviewed Kyle a, a long time ago, almost a year or so ago now. So he and his son has developed this speed stop that stops your vibration from your Makita from increasing or decreasing the speed while you're routing. I thought that was super neat. So I you know, reached out to Kyle, we did an interview. I think it was an amazing session, really enjoyed talking with him and his son. But Kyle has a number of other products on his website as well. He's got some cam clamps, which I really like cam clamps. Now, I, I say I like them. I don't have any right now, um, but they're really useful when you want to tighten some products down. Um, you want to hold your workpiece, and they're really low profile. So rather than the big rockler clamps that your, uh, your dust shoe might hit or you might hit with your gantry, uh, cam clamps are very low profile. So you can really lock your uh, workpiece in using these if you you have some quarter 20 inserts or whatever size you need. So uh, Kyle does offer some designs for this. They are digital files as well. You cut out on the CNC. So you can tweak them to whatever size you need, um, but they have the perfect geometry for holding your workpiece. And don't forget the speed stop. If you have a Makita and a Onefinity, um, eventually you're gonna need the speed stop. I didn't think I needed it, but I swear like the day before I got it in the mail, my machine started going bonkers. It started vibrating and it started changing speed on its own. It came into the mail. I waited to do the interview with Kyle uh, before I installed it. But once I installed it, it's just amazing. It holds the dial right where it needs to be and I cannot say enough about it. The simplicity of the design and the innovation there is just top notch. So once again, uh, two highlights there, John and Huntington Builds, Kyle at Canova Woodshop. Check them out. Uh, and if you're interested in some of the other makers, I highly encourage you to patronize them. Go out to their websites, check them out. It's really important, I think, for us as uh, people that are using the machines or we're in the community to support the other folks that are in the community uh, and really, um, you know, put them first. Uh, so rather than patronizing maybe some of the bigger boys, for example, uh, help the, uh, the fellow hobbyist out and patronize some of the smaller shops. 
So here we are over at the machine and I am going to walk you through some of the products that I already have installed on the machine, some products that I've recently received that I need to install, and then some products that I bought all the parts for but I have yet to install on the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with these wipers from John Carlo. And so what this is, is this is a 3D printed system that attaches to your rails, keeps your rails clean of debris so you don't get any debris into your ball screw and then you don't have to do maintenance as frequently. Now this is made out of a product called TPU which is a flexible plastic that you can 3D print and so he's got the, the different wipers for the different components on the X and Y and rail and Z rails uh, and so they have this little slit here you just slide them over the rail and you push them into place. They're super easy to install. Now I obviously have not installed them yet because I just got them not so long ago and I wanted to show them for this video so I chose not to install them. Another product that he sent me so thank you so much for that uh, are these caps that go on the end now I have created my own design for these caps but these ones these are really cool because they sit flush to your machine and because of the texture and the color they blend right in you don't even see them it's like there's no hole there it's like there's no cap and so they're really really cool I'm super impressed with the fit it is 100% spot on um, a lot closer than I got maybe with my design and so there's lots of different sizes for the different holes on your machine here so I have installed a couple of them I'll grab some quick video of that show that to you so you see how really really cool that fit is. I'm super impressed with the fit and finish on that. So highly recommend you jump out to his Etsy site and pick yourself up some of those. All right, next on the list are some components from Rowdy Roman. Now I'm gonna start here with this little wrench holder that he sent to me. It holds both of your wrenches here, both the big one and the small one, as well as the Allen wrenches, and you can attach it to pretty much any flat surface that you have. Now, I've created my own design similar to this. I actually think this one is nicer than one that I came up with. It's a little bit beefier, and it has them labeled and everything like that. So I think it's really cool, and it's just something that is going to be really useful in the end whenever you're using your machine. Now, so that is cool, but that is not the coolest thing that I think that Rowdy Roman offers. I don't know why I'm so enamored with this, but that is the light ring that is attached to my router right here. And so you can't really see it until you turn it on. It kind of blends in. But when you turn it on, it makes a dramatic difference to how much light is on your work surface. And so it just really lights up where the bit is cutting. So if you're like me and you're kind of mesmerized by your machine when you're watching it, you can stand there and watch your machine really see what's going on. And so with it off, there's not a whole lot of light here on the surface, even though I have essentially every light in my office turned on, plus the video foaming lights, still not a lot of light falls onto this flat surface. So connect it to my controller here, you turn it on and it just offers the perfect amount of light while you're cutting. And then whenever the uh, spindle lowers, it actually adds a little additional light too, because it's a little closer to the work surface. So I really, really, really like this. It's one of those tools that, you know, you didn't know you needed it until you had it. Now I had it. I don't think I would ever go back. Uh, this is really useful and I really like it. And I highly recommend that. The final area of components that I kind of have on my machine right now are things that I've highlighted before in the past. And those are the ones from John at Huntington Builds. You know, he has his magnetic plate system here, which I am a super fan of. I rave about it all the time, anytime I get asked. And then he's got this little plate here that keeps them stored right on the front. He does have another option for a storage device that shoots off of this dust shoe holder. Um, I like the one in front here. It just makes them more readily accessible to me. Um, although I see the benefits of both of them. So the other thing again is this dust shoe holder. Now this design is one that I created myself. It is a riff off of John's design. Uh, so I will not be providing the models or the parts, but if you do want something like this is a little bit more compact than the one that John offers, I'm sure we can work something out with John and make that happen. But these little parts from John, I find really useful. It helps me keep things organized and it just keeps things in the place that they need to be. So they're not lost or you're missing them whenever you need them. The final component Component, which I have yet to install on my machine is my drag chain. I actually purchased the parts probably about a year or so ago and I just have never installed it because I want to uh, eventually upgrade to a spindle. Now this Makita router has a tendency to be very loud. It rattles a lot. I got the uh, speed stop from Kyle at Canova Woodshop just to stop it from rattling around a little bit. But so I have not installed a drag chain because eventually when I do install the spindle, I'll have to reconfigure everything and I didn't want to have to do it twice. Now, like I said, it's been about a year since I bought the parts. So 
maybe I should go ahead and install the drag chain or commit to buying the spindle. We'll see how that turns out. So stay tuned for a future video. I might do one on a spindle at some point in the future. All right, those are all the upgrades I've done to my personal machine. So I will leave links to all of them below if you're interested in picking some up. Highly recommend it. Well, that was a video. I hoped you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make. It was a lot of fun reaching out to the other makers in the community and engaging with them. And as a special bonus, a special prize for anyone who's gotten this far in the video, as I have worked out a deal with many of the makers for a discount coupon code for their products on their Etsy site. And so they are very gracious to help support not only this channel, but support the community. And so I do encourage you to go out there, use the coupon code, get some products from them, really uh, upscale your CNC, especially if you have a Onefinity, but it works with many other machines as well. Um, but uh, just engage with your community, get kind of involved. And I highly recommend, uh, you know, it, you know, using some of these makers that I've highlighted here. So I just want to, you know, special thanks uh, to, to John, to Ryan, to Greg, to Peter, um, and to Jan Carlo. Um, they're just amazing human beings. Uh, they really make the community better, and they're very gracious, you know, offering a coupon code and a discount code for some of their products. So many thanks to them, um, and many thanks to all of you for watching this video. All right, so if you like this video, please consider a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs up anyway leave your comments down below don't forget to follow me on instagram that's where i post pictures of projects like this to become future videos once again thank you so much for watching the video thank you so much for getting this far and don't forget to be inspired four three two one zero All right, <clears throat> so here we are over at the computer and the first maker that I would like to hire, hire, not hire, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's where I post pictures of projects like this to become future videos.